What's up folks, I'm Private Hudson, and this is Life is Hard. This game has been in early access since November 2015. What exactly is it about? Well, don't compare it to a similar looking game called Kingdom, or else the devil will throw a hissy fit and delete your post. I actually haven't played Kingdom, so I don't know how close the comparison is. But both games are 2D Kingdom Village building games. In Life is Hard, you start out with a tiny tribe of four villagers. The in-game tutorial has you set up basic housing and resource gathering for the tribe. You order your villagers to chop down trees for wood in order to build additional structures, to mine for stone and other resources, and collect berries for food. At the end of the tutorial, you get to select what god you want your people to worship. Each god provides unique positive traits to your people, and when you do things that please them, you get favor points that you can use on magic spells, as well as reviving dead villagers. You also get the god's avatar, who is a powerful hero that can be leveled up, unlocking additional moves after performing successfully in combat. All of this sounds fun and interesting, especially to someone like me who loves building and simulation games. Unfortunately, this game is completely fucking broken. The UI is a clunky mess that breaks constantly. Giving orders to your villagers is a nightmare. When you select a villager, you can click on something in the background in order to give them a job. For example, click on a villager, then click on a tree, and they will become a lumberjack. Sounds simple, right? Well, the UI likes to break frequently. And most of the time when you click on a villager, the game pauses and their inventory is displayed instead. So you are not able to give them any orders. The only other way to get them to do things is to select on the environmental object first and click on the icon that pops up above it. So you can select a tree and then click on the icon above it and you got yourself a new lumberjack. This wouldn't be so terrible if hunting was next to impossible. I had a villager that was equipped with, I think, a knife or something. Every time I selected him, his inventory popped up and I couldn't give him orders. I clicked on a boar and pressed the icon above it. Instead of the guy with a knife attacking the boar, an unarmed woman proceeded to attack it with her fists. The only way I could get that guy with the knife to hunt the boar was to make sure that every single villager had a job and only the guy with the knife was idle. So you're probably thinking, just make sure everyone is employed, right? Wrong. The only way to get more villagers is to have babies. The only way to make babies is to have an idle male and idle female villager. Incredible. Also, if you kill the boar with your hero, he gets combat experience from it, but no meat or hide. Brilliant. Amazing. With that aside, what, what else is wrong with this game? Despite being in early access for over a year, the game is completely broken and unplayable. Every single one of my four attempted playthroughs resulted in game-breaking bugs. On my first playthrough, after I've selected the god I wanted to worship, his hero spawned and died immediately on the spot and I had no fucking way to revive him. And I'm so glad that I have footage of this other playthrough I had, because what you are about to see here is comedy gold. What happened was that some refugees came to my village requesting asylum. I accepted them, and this pissed off the king of the other village, and he declared war on me. I had one soldier and my hero as pretty much my only defense. When you give a villager the soldier job, they simply stand still and never do anything. All they can do is attack. They will not chop wood, they will not gather berries, the only thing they will ever fucking do is fight. So these fucking vikings start coming to my village and attack it one by one. My soldier and my hero are defending it. Once my hero kills an enemy, he stops attacking, no matter how many times I click on him and select another enemy. I can still move him around, but I can't make him attack again. If other enemies start attacking him, he simply stands in place. The soldier I had, on the other hand, ended up becoming invincible despite having the shittiest equipment possible, and stunlocked every single enemy including two fucking bears. I was speechless when I saw this. I lost control of the soldier and he just ended up walking god knows where, attacking and killing everything hostile. Meanwhile, back in my village, the UI glitched up again and I was no longer able to build any new buildings. The soldier ended up walking all the way to the enemy village. He was still killing all of their soldiers one by one, even if they were grouped up as they were all stunlocked. I don't know how. What ended up happening was, 
He was taking damage over time, which I assume was due to the cold weather, since he was in another region. The cold killed him, not the Vikings! I had enough faith to revive him, and then he went on again, killing the enemy soldiers until he died from the cold again. I didn't have any faith left to revive him, and I was no longer able to build any more buildings, so I thought this was a good time to stop playing this piece of shit. This game is being developed by Pirozhok Studio, a Ruski hacker, and this guy wants $8 for this. He thinks this experience is worth $8. Now, how does a game like this have mostly positive reviews on Steam? Well, I'll tell you how. In reality, this guy is giving this game out practically for free. I got my first copy of this game through Indie Gala's Every Monday Xmas bundle one year ago, but I haven't touched the game until now. I got a second copy of it through Groupie's Early Access Number 1 bundle back in March, and I gave this extra key to my friend. That same month, I bought a couple of cheap games that were on sale from the Indie Gala store. If you spent over $2, you got a free copy of Fist of Jesus and Reverse Crawl. Then if you spent over $4, you got a random extra game. What was that extra game? Yep, you guessed it. It was this piece of shit. Remember my review of the FPS game Bedlam? Yeah, that's what I bought from Indie Gala, along with the first two old Blood Rain games. And I got this as a bonus gift, quote-unquote. So, if you want a chance to win a copy of this awful, unplayable mess, leave a message in the comments section. I'll pick a random winner and then message them the key. Leave a comment by midnight, Eastern Standard Time, January 1st. Winner will get the key from me on the 2nd. Yeah, life is hard. And so is creating a functional video game.